Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll tell you everything you need to know about labels in Microsoft Loop. We'll discuss what labels are, and how to use them. How to modify a label. And how to create a custom label group. With labels in Microsoft Loop, you can tag table cells, list items, and other elements within your loop component. Although there are only two default label groups, you can easily create custom labels such as the ones on screen. Currently, labels only work with components made in the Microsoft Loop app. To use them with headers, type a forward slash before or after your header text. Then select label from the pop-up list. The two default label groups are priority and progress. To add a label, click an option. You can do exactly the same with any list item. And if you want to speed up the process, type forward slash label, then hit enter on your keyboard. Labels also work in table cells. But you can also integrate labels into your table columns by clicking the down arrow in the column header. There, go to change column type. Select label. Then choose a label group. You can now use a single click to select labels for the cells in that column. If you've set a column type to label, you won't be able to add new options from there. Instead, you'll need to add a standard label somewhere on your page. Then click the label, and select Add option. Enter a name for your new label option. Then hit the check mark. To change the color, click the label and hover over the option you want to change. Then click the pen icon. Here, you can select from a list of predefined colors. You can also edit the option name. Change the label group name. Or delete the option. Click the six dots to drag an option up or down the list. We're reordering the options from very high at the top, to low at the bottom. Whenever you create a new label, you'll have the option to add a new label group. But you can also click the down arrow in a column header. There, go to change column type. Click label. And then select add label group. Enter the name of your label group at the top. We're going to create a rating label using star icons. Once you've copied an icon, head back to loop and paste it into the option box. If you want to use the icons featured in this video, just click the link in the description. Or search for Unicode symbols in your preferred search engine. When you've added your options, hit the save button. You can now modify the label to your preference by clicking the pen icon next to the options. We're adding a yellow background to the labels. Perfect! We've now made a 5-star rating system using labels. You can use the same method for numerous use cases. Here, we have a meetings table where you can select the time, date, and status of a scheduled meeting. To make this, click the down arrow in the H column header, and add a new label group. Call the label H, and add your office hours as options. When you're finished, hit save. Now repeat the process for the minutes column. Name it M, and add 15 minute intervals for the options. Now head to the status column and add a new label group. Name it status. Then add scheduled as the first option. Cancelled as the second option. And ended as the third. We're going to add some icons as well. A pen for the scheduled column. A cross for the cancelled column.
and a check mark for the ended column. Now style the labels to your preference. For the hours and minutes, we'll just add the same gray background. Once you've finished styling, you can start adding the times, dates and statuses for your meetings. If you want to create additional options, make a label anywhere on the page. Select the label group you want to add an option to. Then click the label and select add option at the bottom. Now enter a name for the new option and hit the check mark to finish. One problem you might face when using custom labels is that they only work on the page where you created them unless you paste them into a different page. So if you're going to be using a lot of custom labels, consider making a dedicated page to store them. That way you can easily copy the labels and paste them into your pages. Click anywhere in the main page. Press Ctrl and A on your keyboard to select everything. Then press Ctrl and C to copy. Now head to your new page and press Ctrl and V to paste. You can now delete the labels, as you'll still have the option to use them in the page. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.